Kyle Larson was one of the most impressive and improved drivers coming out of Season 8. He was a title contender that barely missed out on the Final Four at Miami. Larson recorded three wins, including the final race at Homestead, Miami, and even started off the year with a win at the Daytona 500. All was well for Kyle Larson, and he was easily one of the championship favorites heading into Season 9. Larson's Season 8 stats were impressive. He had six top fives and 14 top tens in 24 starts, with three wins and a win in the Season 8 All-Star race. So what exactly went wrong? Roll the tape. Higher down, maybe. Kyle Busch might have to come to pit road with that damage. Oh, we got a car in the walls. Trevor Bain. Up into the innocent Kyle Larson. What the heck was Bain doing? He runs Larson up into the wall. That wreck saved Kyle Busch, by the way. Oh, man, yeah. Bain just... What, right up into the wall, right in front of Larson. Not really sure what Trevor Bain was up to in that wreck, but he collects Kyle Larson. Larson definitely did not need, need that. Any for the race lead, as we got three wide battles heading into turn three. And there it is, Harvick still in the race lead, but here comes Alex Bowman with the help of Joey Logano. Logano's a good little plate racer. Can he get himself up to the front? Meanwhile, we got a crash down the back stretch. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Tyler Sapinora. Collecting many others, such as Kyle Larson, who did not need to have that wreck happen today as he is struggling in the points thus far in Season 9. And just nowhere to go for Regan Smith, who's replacing Casey Kane, Bryce Harvey, Eddie Jones. What a shame. Oh, hard hit for Ricky Stenhouse. That is a shame for that team. Ricky and Kyle Larson both struggling. Both trying to make the chase, the playoffs, so much on the line here, as we are really getting down to it here in the ACS Season 9. We're five races in, this is the sixth race, and Kyle Larson is still trying to get into that top 16. So we yeah. The drivers race across the stripe, now head down the back. Oh, Eric Jones spins, Ricky Stenhouse, up into the back, collects Kyle Larson. No, 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 this is not what Larson needed. Caution. On the track for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. getting spun out by Eric Jones up into Austin Dillon. AD's been having some good runs lately. This is not what he needed either to make the playoffs. And then there's Kyle Larson getting collected right at the tail end. There's Eric Jones clearly spinning out Ricky Stenhouse. Not on purpose, just kind of drove it in a little too deep there. Thought he could get the angle on Stenhouse. Yeah, definitely Eric Jones just drove it in like a madman. Remember, he's locked into the playoffs now after last week's win. There's Larson getting into Austin Dillon. Alex Bowman does a swell job of skating through that wreck, but Larson is out. Stenhouse is out. And Austin Dillon is out of the Miller Lite 200 in Season 9. Chase Elliott as we complete lap 2. Elliott trying to maintain lead over Kyle Busch. There's Micah Knapp in 4th place and 5th. Oh, we got cars around in turn 13. And it's William Byron, Ryan Blaney, and Kyle Larson. This spells disaster for Chase contender Ryan Blaney as he goes around here. Let's see what happens. Looks like Joey Logano gets into Kyle Larson. Byron just puts the brakes on, slides through the grass, and, and uh, ends up running into Ryan Blaney. There's Logano getting into Larson. Logano's going to snake through, and then but his teammate's not. Blaney's going to get into the back of William Byron. One more look at it here. Oh, yeah, Larson looks like he... I'm, that might be on Larson, actually. He looks like he cut off Joey Logano and then William Byron just trying to avoid this one ends up getting collected in this one as Ryan, or Kyle Larson, William Byron, and Ryan Blaney. The Young Guns getting taken out here at the Grand Prix, but we... As you can see, Larson struggled to get a season going. Inconsistency in Rex hindered his ability to find a groove, and when he finally did get his groove going, he couldn't find victory lane. Coming to the white flag, Harvick versus Larson, side by side, hanging in the turn one. This is going to be great. Heading down the backstretch, in the turn three, Larson drives it in. He drives it in too deep. They collide into the wall, and Truex is going to come out of nowhere and win the Quaker State 200. Two laps to go is Logano and Boyer. Oh, Kyle Busch with a great start. Here comes Kyle Larson to the outside. Kyle Larson's back in this thing as they come to get the white flag presented by Credit One Bank. Larson to the back bumper of Legato. He's going to go to the high side. Larson's going to grab it in the three and four. Here comes Kyle Busch. They get into it. Legato retakes the lead and gets the win in a Coke 600.
600. Challenge for the lead early on here. Non-playoff contender battling for the lead. Joey Logano versus Kyle Larson. Logano was eliminated last round. Larson did not make the playoffs. Larson looking to hang his hat on this season with a win. And here comes Kevin Harvick battling with Joey Logano for second. Two fours duking it out, and they'll take Harvick will take that second position over Joey Logano. Now Harvick really catching up to Kyle Larson already. He's battling for that late race lead. It looks like Ryan Blaney might have caught the wall there between turns one and two as the cars roll through turns one and two. Beautiful shot here under the lights. There's the battle for the race lead here on lap five. Kyle Larson being challenged for that one. Here comes Kyle Busch getting in the mix with it. Kyle Busch will take second from Kevin Harvick, but Harvick completes the crossover heading into turn three. Put down Kevin Harvick back into that second position. Now Kyle Busch trying once again. Kyle Busch has got a great car with that throwback to Ernie Irvin. Oh, no, here they go. Oh, Kyle Busch spins and he saves it. What a save for Kyle Busch off the nose of Alex Bowman. But Kyle Busch is losing tons of positions. There goes Eric Jones, Austin Dillon underneath Kyle Busch now. Kyle Busch goes from second place all the way to about 10th. And then Kevin Harvick, meanwhile, just takes over the race lead. And so does Alex Bowman. He's going to take over that second spot. His season nine stats are this. One win, six top fives, 11 top tens, four DNFs, an average finish of 14.56 in 25 races, and he would finish 17th in the standings, missing the playoffs. Season 9 was a disaster for Larson Nation, and it turns our eyes towards Season 10. Will he improve, or will he continue to fall? And once again, that will do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Duck Lives Matter. Catch you next time.